Introduction to Snail Farming, Part 2, using Nigeria as a case study while focusing on ARCHACHANTINA marginata ovum known as African giant land snail which is the biggest snail in the world. Species of suitable snails and its features. When planning to stock your farm, it is advisable to go for the point of lay pole, or young breeder's sizes. This is because pole would begin to lay almost immediately once arrived on your farm and it lays for a longer time than when you stock your farm with very big snails. There are different snail species, but for the purpose of small-scale or large-scale commercial snail farming, we would be discussing the three, three major African land snails suitable for successful and profitable snail farming. 1. ARCHATINA fulica AF. It is a species of large, air-breathing land snail, a terrestrial pulmonate gastropod mollusk in the family of Acatinidae. It is the smallest in size among all the desirable species for rearing in Africa. Acatina fulica has a narrow, conical shell. The AF, as fondly Kayez by its abbreviation, is also known as the garden snail. The tail end is unusually sharp, just like the double A. We'll discuss that later. This snail has very pointed tail and dark shell. The shell mostly appears to be light coffee color but coloration varies with environmental conditions. Adults of this species may exceed 20 cm in shell length but generally average about 5 to 10 cm. The average weight of the snail is approximately 32 grams. They are prolific breeders. They lays up to 200 to 400 eggs in a clutch and can lay that up to 2 to 3 times in a year. 2. ARCHACHATINA marginata AM. This is called the big black snail or African giant snail or West African giant snail or the biggest snail in the world. It is commonly found in the forest along the coast of West Africa. This is the most common snail found in Nigeria amidst Akatina fulica. The shell has a mottled color of black, brown and white and very thick. The skin color is dark gray while some are white snails, albino snails. At maturity, they are 11 to 19 centimeters and weight by the way 600 to 800 grams or more. They grow to full size in their natural habitat from 12 to 14 months or more. They lay by the way 5 to 15 eggs per clutch which is usually about 3 times in year. The shell is less pointed than Acatina Acatina species but rather blunt. Please, note that there are two types of Acachantina marginata. 1. Archachatina marginata ovum ammo. This species of snails is the biggest snail in the world and it is predominant in the southwest, Nigeria. B. Archachatina marginata saturalis AMS. They look very much like ammo because they are in the same family as ammo. They are commonly found in the south-south and the eastern part of Nigeria. They lay more eggs than ammo but they don't grow as big as ammo. You can easily identify AMS via its pink coloration at the shell collar and the tail. 3. Akatina Akatina AF. Its common name is the giant Ghana snail, also known as the giant tiger land snail. The shell looks so beautiful. Akatina's shell can attain a length of 200 mm and a maximum diameter of 100 mm. It is the species of very large, air-breathing land snail, a terrestrial pulmonate gastropod mollusk in the family Akatinidae. They are very prolific breeders, which means that they reproduce at a high rate. Breeding of snails. In snail breeding, at least two or more snails are needed for breeding. Unless you are very sure that the single snail you are keeping is crossed, endeavor to keep at least two snails for mating to take place. Therefore, if you start a farm with about 1,000 snails, in one year you would be getting over 500,000 snails going by the number of eggs they produce. It is worthy to let you know that however that is true, for those of us in Nigeria, our climate here does not favor the breeding of AA, as its mortality rate is high because our weather condition does not fully support the breeding of this species so much, hence, we do not recommend it for large-scale breeding in Nigeria. General facts in snail farming. Cannibalism. Snails prey if they lack certain necessities like calcium. Matured snails can prey on baby snails. It is called cannibalism. So the need for separating, grouping or sorting of smaller snails from the bigger snails is advised. As the baby snails gets matured 4th to 6th months and above, you can bring them to join the matured or breeder's snails. Bloating. Bloat, according to Oxford Dictionary, it is defined as to swell or make something swell, especially in an unpleasant way. Bloating may occurs when snails are fed with excess carbohydrate feed and contaminated or excess feed or water. Search for calcium. Snails kept without free access to calcium supplement will resort to cannibalism and self-mutilation in an attempt to meet their calcium needs since it is lacking within their reach. This means you have to provide them with calcium diet for their shell formation and egg production. Importance of water. Aside from having the water to keep their humidity right, it should be noted that excess starchy food which they are unable to digest gets stuck in their guts. Hence, water helps to digest such. Also, note that snails can react negatively to chlorinated water. 
Ensure that you use only clean water so as to ensure utmost upkeep of your snails. AESTIVATION, hibernation, this situation occurs in snails that are in the wild mostly during the dry season. It is the state where the snail becomes inactive, hibernate or in a state of dormancy and seals itself into its shell with a white calcareous layer to prevent loss of water from the body. For a snail farmer, the period of aestivation means the loss of valuable growing time. If as a snail farmer your snails begin to enter this state, note that it's an indication that you have not provided them with a conducive environment. Recommended solution is to do regular wetting of the pen and increase mulching with dry leaves of whatever represent their artificial habitat. Fending termite off. If your housing system is such built with building blocks, drainage system has to be built around the pen wherein water and condemn engine oil will always be in order to trap any invading ants. But if your housing is a trench type, you can put the legs of your pen inside an oil-filled tins or containers as practiced in poultry. Importance of earthworm. Earthworm contributes to the well-being of the soil and every other animals or plants that depends on soil. Earthworm is known as soil purifying agent. Earthworm is found worldwide where soil, water, and temperature allow. They are commonly found in the soil, eating a wide variety of organic matter. This organic matter includes plant matter, living protozoa, rotifers, nematodes, bacteria, fungi, and other microorganisms that have the potentials to endanger your snails. Ants are insect in snailery. Keep all form of insect ant out of your snailery. Once spotted, don't allow any of such insect or ant to escape. Kill them. The only living organism that is allowed in your snailery is earthworm. Stocking your farm as a beginner. It is more preferable to begin your snail farm with point of lay snails so that you can start breeding because they have a longer time to lay than fully matured snails, old layers. It should be notes that as snails grow older, the egg production diminishes. A point of lay snail, pole, is a medium-sized snail that weighs between 200 to 250 grams and it is about 6 to 9 months old. At 8 months up, it is at its sexual maturity stage. FAQ, how long do you wait before a pole starts laying eggs on arrival? Answer, it depend on the condition of the snail. Though it is expected that a pole snail SHD begin to lay in a couple of weeks after its arrival to the new environment. Factors that might hinder a pole from laying as early as expected in a new home. 1. Environmental factor, be new to the environment. 2. Stress while on transit to the new home. 3. Waiting on another cycle, the snail might have just laid on the breeder's farm before being sold to you. Which means you have to wait for its next cycle. 4. Finding a mate, it is advisable to put more snails of the same species together so that they can have a partner of their choice to choose from. Snails sometimes behave like human, our ladies, apologies to all the female folks, they are choosy when it comes to choosing a husband or our boyfriend which is a very good thing to do. 5. ACT of God, this is to affirm that God reigns supreme in all we do. It is like marrying a virgin. That a man married a virgin doesn't mean the woman would be pregnant immediately. But there's a model that I always give to my clients which helps them to make money almost immediately from their investment as they start. This is to encourage them to make money immediately because snail biz, farming, just as one of the characteristics of snails, that is, slow and matured. Snail farming is a slow visioner and requires patience because it takes about 8 to 12 months for a hatchling to be fully grown to maturity. COMPARISM of egg production. Acantina acantina double A and Acantina fulica AF snails reproduce rapidly unlike the Acantina marginata AM. Although AM eggs are usually bigger in size compared to double A and AF snails. When you notice that your snails have started laying eggs, please increase their feed ration and the quantity of fresh fruits and vegetables you give them. The reason for this treat is that snails losses considerable weight after laying eggs. If they fail to feed well at this time, you might witness the death of snail in your pen. Importance of good nutrition. Good nutrition in snails helps in egg production, growth and early maturity. When snails lack the essential nutritional requirements needed naturally or from formulated feeds, they will ultimately suffer a loss in weight. We do know that snails' weight and shell size is a very essential factor in marketing of snails locally or export. Importance of egg harvest. It is important to remove all eggs from breeders' housing. This is because your snails may crush, break some of the eggs while some snails can dig the eggs out in their search for a cool place to hide themselves which would expose the eggs, making the eggs to dry and loosing its potency. Breeding season. Snails starts their breeding season from early rain season as it relates to the wild. However, domesticated snails can still be bred in the dry season when the environmental conditions is done in such a way that suits them. Recommendation. The African giant snails are recommended for snail farming due to its meat size, the consumption rate and the common demand.
The reason is that this affords you the opportunity of ensuring that the specific species you are using are good enough and easily marketable. More so, you are sure of the potential size of the offspring. It also advised to buy your first stocks from a snail's farmers or research institutes where the age, origin or history of the snails is known from the beginning. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your rapt attention. Till I come your way next time, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel, S-O-B-A-Y-O-M-O-D-U-P-E Snails. Remember to like, comment and share this video. Contact me on WhatsApp, plus 2348027247470.